Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good evening, everyone. I want to start with uh, tomorrow's forecast, really, because we got to look at the air quality. It's moderate thanks to all that smoke in the atmosphere, and the pollen counts are very high. Tree pollen, oak pollen specifically, is very high. And so we have uh, some concerns in terms of the way it's going to feel outside. And the UV index tomorrow will also be on the high side, about 15 to 30 minutes outside. With that type of bright sunshine, you could get a sunburn. So if you've got golf in your forecast tomorrow, starting out with a light south wind, it'll pick up out of the north by 1 p.m. Make sure you've got the sunscreen on. The temperature by 1 p.m. will already be up to 75 degrees. I want to show you something really fascinating that's going on here with the atmosphere. You see the storm system out here in the uh, Pacific Ocean? Well, it is moving slowly to the east. As it does, it forces the jet stream to buckle like this. And you know what that does? That forces cold fronts like this one right here to come down in our direction. So we're going to see a series of cold fronts headed down into green country over the next several days. And that eventually is going to lead some to high temperatures in the 60s on Saturday. As for tonight, clear skies, pretty nice. We will see one little patch of clouds come in very early tomorrow morning with the first initial front. No rain with any of those fronts. In fact, we'll have to wait till Sunday night, maybe Monday for a chance of rain. Temperatures tomorrow morning will start out in the 50s, warm to the mid to upper 70s, maybe close to 80 in some spots. And then another front comes in. So Friday morning, we're down in the lower 40s in Tulsa. There may be some upper 30s in southeast Kansas, maybe up close into uh, Craig and Nowata County. Then Friday afternoon, we're only at 70 degrees. Saturday morning, cloud cover temperatures in the middle 40s. And look at these highs Saturday afternoon in the 60s. If you were traveling to St. Louis Saturday afternoon, 43. If you're headed up to Des Moines, Iowa, 39. So we are not that far away from some very chilly air. Then Sunday, we got a storm system setting up. Western Oklahoma could have some strong thunderstorms Sunday night. Those could migrate their way toward us by Monday morning. Independence started off with some cloud cover today. They got rid of that cloud cover and went back to sunshine. As you'll see here on this time lapse, even a few rain showers across southeastern Kansas. But overall, a great day is what it ended up being. And from our tower camera, a great evening setting up 71 degrees currently. We've got a dew point of 35, so the air is relatively dry. West northwest wind at 18 miles an hour. Temperatures tonight fall under clear skies back to around 54 by 6 a.m. But eventually we'll drop all the way down to around 43 at Bartlesville, 46 in Ponca City, 44 at Tahlequah, 49 in Tulsa and 49 at Stigler. So starts out chilly tomorrow. Need a coat early, but it's a layers kind of day. You shed that layer the afternoon. We have sunshine and we're all the way up to around 79 degrees in Tulsa, 78 in Muskogee. 77 in Pryor, 79 at Bristow, 79 at Okmulgee, and lower 80s at McAllister. Friday morning, 10 a.m., the Spring Mountain Man Encampment starts at Woola Rock. Friday and Saturday from 10 to 4.30, 56 Friday morning, 67 Friday afternoon for that great event. So head on out to Woola Rock this weekend. 70 on Friday, then 68 on Saturday under those cloudy skies. Look at those morning lows in the 40s. Sunday, 30% chance of rain and thunder. That's Sunday night. Monday morning, 50% chance for rain and thunder. Cooler to start next week and more mornings where we're in the 40s and areas close to the Kansas border and in southeast Kansas could be in the upper 30s. 